Turning now to an I-Team exclusive, a key witness in the fraud trial involving suspended insurance commissioner Jim Beck says he still stands by his cousin. Yeah, after his damning testimony in court about cash payments he made to Beck, Matt Barfield said he didn't feel he was doing anything wrong, and he hopes that his cousin is not guilty. A senior I-Team reporter, Del Russell, has an exclusive interview with him. What was the hardest part for you? Just having to sit there in the courtroom and testify uh, against my own family. My cousin. Matt Barfield, who asked us not to show his face, is a key prosecution witness against his cousin, suspended insurance commissioner Jim Beck. Barfield told me after testifying that he gave Beck bags full of cash from various vendors for five years. He still stands by his cousin. Were you ever suspicious about this at all? Never. I've always trusted Jim. He's never gave me any reason not to trust him. Earlier, Steve McKegg testified he was a close family friend of Jim Beck. He and his wife traveled worldwide with Beck and his wife, as you can see in this Facebook picture from Italy. As I said, my background is in the insurance business. I At the time, for, uh, Beck had yet to run for the insurance commissioner post. He was running a company called GUA. GUA is a state-created company that provided insurance for people who couldn't get it anywhere else. McKegg, a retired insurance executive, testified Beck hired him to help GUA policyholders who had had damage to their homes from water. McKegg testified that Beck told him a secretive millionaire with a company called Green Technology Services bankrolled all the work that he was involved with. I had the paperwork to back up everything I did. Matt Barfield testified in court he was Green Technology Services, and he isn't a millionaire and knows nothing about insurance. You didn't think you were doing anything wrong? No, absolutely not. In court, Barfield explained to the jury that Beck asked him to set up a company that created invoices to send to Beck's company, GUA, for payment. He did no work, and he testified that 90% of that money went back to Beck most of it in cash, delivered in bank bags at a McDonald's or other restaurants. The cash, there was so much cash money that was given to Mr. Beck. Didn't that make you suspicious at all? No. Why not? Because like I said before, uh, Jim's never gave me any reason to not trust him and um, I never thought anything else about it. Matt Barfield says he still trusts his cousin Jim Beck. He says he hopes he's not guilty but admits he doesn't know all the facts and he hopes Jim Beck gets out of this thing unscathed when it's all over with. From the federal courthouse, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.